This video shows how you can capture production process in a high level of detail with the aid of the AnyLogic Fluid Library. We'll consider a supply chain in Switzerland comprised of fruit and milk suppliers, a yogurt factory in Sarnen, which is supplied with milk and fruit, two DCs located in Zurich and Lausanne, customers located in the 50 largest cities of Switzerland. Let's check out the scenario data, which includes customers, yogurt factory and distribution centers, suppliers, information about the products, periodic weekly demand for each customer. Customers order yogurt bottles once a week. Demand is estimated as the following. We assume that, in average, people consume 50 yogurt bottles per year. The supply chain covers 10% of the total demand of the cities. Ordered products are expected to be received by the customer within one day. Inventory replenishment for distribution centers for yogurt bottles and for the factory for raw materials is regulated by the min-max inventory policy. Products are ordered when the inventory level falls below a fixed replenishment point equal to min. The ordered quantity is set to such a value that the resulting inventory quantity is equal to max. As for the end product for the factory, inventory replenishment is regulated by regular policy. An exact product amount is produced every specified period. The required inventory for sites is replenished by ordering the necessary product from a source in accordance with the sourcing policy. Here, the closest source was chosen. Production. This table defines what products can be produced in the factory, the time required to produce one product unit, and production cost. A production batch contains 5,000 yogurt bottles, and the time which is necessary to satisfy the request is four hours. Bills of materials. In this table, users can specify a list of components and the quantities needed to produce the end product. Paths connect location points within the supply chain by the specific vehicle type. Facility expenses. Let's run the experiment and analyze production process efficiency. The results are available in the dashboard below the experiment's view in the form of statistics, distributed through the tabs on the left. Each tab and statistic are created by the user. As you can see, we satisfied the daily production plan, but we just assumed that batch production time, in average, equals four hours and didn't consider that the factory produces yogurt continuously. This means that if there are not enough components, the batch will be utilized. AnyLogistics is integrated with AnyLogic, the most powerful general-purpose simulation software on the market. This means that we can represent production process in a level of detail which allows us to consider all the characteristics we need to reach the goal as well as to add custom statistics for detail analysis. Now we need to make some changes in the scenario data. Change the factory type. Change the inventory policy for end product. Inventory replenishment will be regulated as it's realized in the extension. The factory will produce yogurt continuously in as much as production capacity and raw materials quantity allow. Let's run the experiment. Check out the production process and analyze the results. Yogurt production process is comprised of the following stages. Solid content normalization, milk mix preparation, 97% milk and 3% milk powder, and graduation, 10% volume. Derating milk. Viscalization, blending of two mutually non-soluble liquids, making them the same throughout. Pasteurization, heat treatment, cooling, ripening, milk clotting in milk and products of its processing under the influence of starter microorganisms formation, adding fruit filler. If there's not enough fruit at the factory, the process will switch to product utilization, cooling, heat treatment, hot product packaging, and further cooling. As a result of the experiment, we can see that our inventory policies for raw materials satisfy our needs in a numerical equivalent, but for continuous production, we must take into account the time of their delivery to the factory. That's why produced volume does not match the production request.
6,300 liters of milk mixture was utilized as there was not enough fruit at the factory, and production of eight batches were delayed due to lack of milk or milk powder. Since the customer demand was lower than the production request, we have 100% service level. AnyLogistics provides users with the ability to customize every element of a supply chain while considering limitless detail. Create a digital twin of your physical supply chain with detailed modeling inside the four walls and data feeds from external sources to stay ahead of potential supply chain disruptions. Thank you for watching this video. If you wish to use AnyLogistics to solve your supply chain challenges, please feel free to contact us by email.